Oi, you. What's this I'm hearing about you finding and... Are you telling me that you not only tracked these beasties down, but you killed them all? This was our chance to redeem ourselves, and you... You stole the honor. Now I'm a man of my word, and I'll pay you what I promised. But this is low. Some take your money and go. Now we've got another hunt to organize. No thanks to you. Get lost. to Telogris. <laughs> returned. My scouts reported your successes along the road. They say it was, you have done your part, and now I shall do mine. Take this, and please, think better of crap. We will make it ours again in time. Nathari, yeah. watch over you. I heard Roger Jensen's caravan The families have watched your journey with great anticipation, but we never dared hope. Yet you have brought Heidi is safe now, thanks to you. You've done us such a please take this. It's all we have, but it's merely a fraction of what's to you have returned our spirits to our prayers have been answered. Mithros isn't what I expected.
much more capable. Well. Expect to see you again so soon. Call it Providence. You're here in time. The citizens of Gale Crossing have been kind enough to give Colette and the Echoes a stage for our first concert. They will not be disappointed. This evening. Best of all, it's free. We've decided that everyone should share in our exploration of the myth. Cero would prefer we charge an admission, but he's not in any position to enforce it. We'd love you to come, seeing as you're directly responsible for Colette and the Echoes' formation. Thanks again. Yeah? I am Ursa, and this is the White Dove. You will be back. So you're the pushy type. But see, I'll start with the fingers. Bah! Not worth the trouble. Don't know her. Get lost! Yes, need a drink? Try the drink. What did I say? Take a walk, stranger. I told you. I don't know any schooled. Now walk away before your questions get you. Get lost! It's not a good time. Come back when I'm sober. I don't need to do anything. You've got plenty of cheek coming into my village and asking questions, sticking your nose in my business. Stick it too far and you might lose it. Why do you think I know schooled Atlas anyway? Hmm, doesn't surprise me. I've been the subject of more than... How about this? When night falls, head up to the old windmill. There's a cave. It's spring gold. I've got information, but it'll cost me later. Hello. 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 out there. I'm probably not the first to tell you this, but you aren't dressed nearly well enough to fend off this chill. Listen, I've got the gear you're looking for. Clothes, armour, potions. But our clothes at sundown. Most of us in Gale Crossing do. And if you're smart, you'll find a safe space. Nobody should be out after dark. You haven't heard? Well, seeing as you're a guest, beware the night bar guest. The bane of Three Winds Crutch. They say it's cursed. Victim of a witch's dark vengeance. Emerges with the l around here. Hunting the night bar guest is practically a pastime. It's what all the young folk do after filling. Legend tells us that it makes its lair up near Three Winds Crutch. My advice? Stay safe in the village. And don't mention it to those fools, Roth and Beatrice. You'll be better off. Come again. Daytime's the only time you'll want to be. Goodbye for now. What? Hello?
comes to Telobris. <laughs> Many preparations to make. Rehearsals, our first show, perhaps a top wishes luck. Keep your wits about you.
If I didn't know better, I'd say this was fate. You managed to survive, Madding Wind, but you will not escape us again. You are new to Mithros, old friend. Otherwise, you would have known to never trust a Axel. She can't resist the sweet music of gold jangling in her pocket. Now she's off in her smuggler's bolt hole, counting that coin. I am Lotus, war chief of the preordained. It is nice to finally make your acquaintance.
If you want to know about our troubles, ask somebody else. I'm not interested. Sure, I know her. Can't say I like her much. A cheat. No rules, no morals. She'll sell her own mother for a... She stores her goods around town, in a few of the cellars. Slips in and out when no one's around. If you're looking for books or scrolls, in the right place. If not, be on. Sounds like there's been some action out by the caves. Stay clear. Morella? That old smuggler could be anywhere. Likes to wedge herself into cracks. If you find her, tell her to find safe haven elsewhere. We're tired of her kind of trouble. The Daru bless you.
Keep your wits about you. If this is about the fighting by the caves, I want no part of it. What about her? Do you know where she is? Oh, you're looking for her too. Well, you know as much as I do then. She's got a small bolt hole around here, but I don't know where. Goodbye for now. <laughs> The night bar guest. Welcome to Gale Crossing. Welcome to the crossing. Enough! 
I yield. I have nowhere else to run. Forgive me. Forgive my betrayal. I didn't know who you were. I didn't know. Schooled, Atlas. Mm, she's real. I deliver supplies to her forge in the Caldera, Cinder Pit. She sealed the area with some infernal mechanism of her own design. I can tell you where to look, but no one gets in. Mmm, I can't tell you much because there might be preordained nearby. Take this note, and you should be able- Please, don't kill me. I didn't know. Truly, oh thank you. I owe you my life. You are gracious, fateless one. I will not forget it. Yes. Don't look at me. Puzzles are not exactly my specialty. Bye.
guys. So, they finally sent someone. Ten years. That's how long I've been warning the Order about what is happening in Mithros. Ten years. And what did they do? Nothing. Now Telogris has risen, and the rest of us race to keep Amalur from falling apart. Agarth, I didn't expect to see your face again. Not after what happened. I'm still not sorry. We go back, him and I. The old wars. Another life. He could show you some scars. A long time ago, I worked closely with the Order. With Agarth, Aelin, Finia. Until they refused to listen to my warnings. I left the Feylands and journeyed west. Established a new forge in these mountains. And I kept watch. It depends on whom you ask. He is many things to many people. To the citizens of his city, of Crownhold, he is the true ruler of Amalur, a figure who will rebuild this war-torn land. To the refugees and settlers moving west to join him, he is a liberator, a figure who will free them from the bonds of fate. Yes, that is... To Logris's true desire to unbind us all. I do. You stink of fate magic. I can't say I'm happy to see you, considering you shouldn't exist. But it's fitting that you came. May the abomination who wrecked the weave be the one to repair it. Not that it will be easy, even for you. I couldn't agree more. Thanks to the Order's hesitance, we are already falling behind. The timetable is short. As his influence rises unabated, the Niskaru will keep coming, endless and merciless. I am devising a plan to challenge him, but I will not succeed without your help. Telogras may be the god of chaos, but that is only in Ishara. Here, he is but a man, a spirit in a stolen body. I knew him as Wolf, a boy from Yolven. He was my apprentice, and my responsibility. Wolf accompanied me on many expeditions into these caves and canyons. He was strong, resourceful. During one trek, Wolf and I became separated, and he vanished. I believed him dead, and I mourned him in the tradition of my people. Weeks later, he returned, different. I knew it was not the wolf I knew. He had been taken, consumed. Farther west, in the ancient Mitharan city of Crownhold, 
Its great temple has been occupied by his followers. It is a perversion that this grand, erothy city has become a haven for the followers of Chaos. Many in Mithros see Telogris' words for what they are. Lies meant to disrupt and deceive. Those who have been forced from their homes or wish to escape the occupation come here, to me. Soldiers, scholars, farmers, alchemists, even other blacksmiths. We are preparing to take this region back. Let me see it. Ah, of course. I know this blade well, because I crafted it. A chaos sword. My own invention. Ugly, but elegant in its own terrible way. I last saw this weapon in the hands of one of my apprentices. I often brought my apprentices with me into the Chaos Realm. It was foolhardy, and several paid with their lives. Sadly, weapons like this are all that remain of those loyal friends. Since then, I've been unable to reach the Chaos Realm again to procure the necessary metals. You'll need to master Chaos, its weapons, its magic, if you expect to face Telogris. Come, bring the sword, and I will show you. Hello, my friend. Take this, the Chaos Flame. I stole it from Ishara with my own hands, sacrificing my greatest tools to ensure Telogris' destruction. Use that forge. Bring the flame that'll be Telogris' undoing. Beautifully done. Only I could have done it better. You may be faithless, but you still have much to learn. About magic, about war with Telogris. I will now repair the sword for you. Or do you want me to forge it into a different weapon instead? From this core, I could also create a staff or daggers. Understood. I will begin forging your weapon at once. Here is your weapon. Keep it close. Only those weapons forged in chaos magic will be of any use to you against our new enemies. Thousands of years ago, the first Niskaru hunters weaponized chaos magic. Swords, shields, hammers, armors. All the martial equipment used by mortals. It is the only way for us to stand a chance against Telogris' brood. Wait, what was that? Ah, it seems we have some unwanted guests in the forge. Stay close. This 
Skaru. Sometimes they find their way in as sneaky little demons. They're nearly indestructible. Unless you know how to get past the defenses. Your chaos weapon will make short work of them. Hello, my friend. your chaos. Forward. It is the only way to breach their magic. That's it. Use your chaos weapon. Cut them down. Finish them off. You're a good fighter and a quick study, but you have a long way to go before you master chaos magic. The forge is defended by numerous barriers and defenses, but still, they find us. I worry about the future. Enough about that. I will handle your chaos training, and the chaos creatures will keep your combat skills honed. We have much to do. It will take time and courage, but the best way to understand chaos is to destroy it. That means closing rifts and portals whenever and wherever you find them. I've spent years capturing and studying all manner of chaos creatures. Facing them in battle is the best way to understand their weaknesses. Defeating my chaos beasts will prove to me that you're worthy. Their chaos hide is similar to the armor worn by Telogris. If you can't beat them, you still have much work to do. You're one of the final pieces in my plot to thwart Telogris, and I will need your help assembling the rest. A sage crafter named Callan MacLeod has made a great discovery. I've seen it in my readings. He's on the verge of using chaos magic in sage crafting, but he may not live long enough to do it. You have to find him and bring him here. That's your mission. That rusty sword you brought with you. You found it in the Chaos Realm, didn't you? Tell me, Fateless One, what else did you see in that cursed landscape? Perfect. Just what I needed. The substance you found is called Chaos Matter. Chaos matter is vital to defeating Telogris, and the only way to obtain it is to destroy and harvest these chaos nodes. Chaos weapons can be forged from chaos matter, and these enchanted weapons may be the only thing that can harm Telogris. When I forged your new weapon, I did so by extracting chaos matter from that broken sword you found in the Chaos Realm. Unfortunately, it was rusty and impure which greatly limited what I could produce from it. If you bring me pure chaos matter, obtained directly from a chaos node, I can forge any kind of chaos weapon core you wish. If you're not in a hurry, I suggest giving it a try before continuing with your mission. Bye.
I must discover the secret to sage crafting with chaos magic. Chaos weapons can be forged from chaos matter found in the cave. You can find plenty of chaos matter, but once you've obtained some chaos matter, bring it to me and use this core to craft your new chaos weapon. If you don't want to do it yourself, just ask Jock. He could use the practice. He's a bit clumsy, though. Honestly, it'll probably turn out better if you do it yourself. Farewell.